They were enough to make your skin crawl. Black-legged ticks, commonly known as deer ticks. These are shots from that area in France. Deborah Fraley was bitten by one while either horseback riding or hiking in Europe or Canada, and it infected her with Lyme disease. I had no idea where I was bitten. But it's not just a concern abroad. There's a growing threat right in our own backyard. The warmer temps have caused an increase in black-legged ticks in the wooded areas of Ontario, Quebec, and the East Coast. An estimated 20 to 30 percent carry Lyme disease, and as the mercury rises, so does the tick population. Black-legged ticks are a bit more of a reddish-brown color. However, if you're not really sure, you can have them identified. But identifying the symptoms of Lyme disease, on the other hand, is much harder. It starts with a rash and flu-like symptoms and then gets worse. Neurological symptoms, nerve paralysis, um, pain and uh, uh, types of meningitis. In some people, it affects the, uh, the contraction of the heart. Fraley's symptoms developed for months but took years to diagnose. I was pretty much numb and had pain from my chest down. And uh, so I had basically symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Black-legged ticks are often found in rodents, birds, and deer. But all it takes is a brush against a tree or a branch, and they can transfer onto you. And if you don't wash them away immediately or pluck them away with tweezers, they could transfer their bacteria to you within 24 to 48 hours. If you can see the ticks before that day and a half elapses and get rid of them, then you should be in good shape. Doctors recommend doing a tick check after a walk in the woods, wear long sleeve clothing and spray DEET. Good news is Lyme disease can be treated with antibiotics. For Deborah Fraley, she's now on medication and on the mend. My sense of feeling is not anywhere what it was. It's coming back. Um, treatment has made big progress. Marianne Domain, Global News.